EFNN, The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Tuesday, Tuesday the 20th of August. And we're looking at the Dow down 37 at 40,859 after a recovery high yesterday. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see because we've got the S&P. So the Dow is taking a bit of a breather here. Not very much, but a little bit of a breather. S&P is actually up. S&P is up by 11 point sixty five at 56.20, extending this leg B buy mode. Um, in this particular instance, there's a really good chance that the 56.69.67 high of the 16th of July will be taken out because we're only in B and we still have to make a C and a D. I suspect that it will be taken out. That's going to be a V-shaped pattern in the uh, in the weekly chart, and then we'll have to see what happens next. But in the meantime, the QQQ um, is up a dollar twenty-seven to four eighty-two point fifty-five. Nice leg B here, un underplaying the whole thing. Uh, it's nothing like the S&P, but it is doing very well. Got the IWM is a little bit weaker than the uh, uh, weaker than the QQQ, and that's the NDX 100. So this is the small caps, the iShares Russell 2000, down 98 cents at 214.20, doing very nicely. For the first time, you've got the nine period moving average. Well, we're not even 35 minutes into the session. Uh, but the 9 p moving average so far has crossed positive. I'm expecting some kind of a digestive phase rolling through the different sectors. We'll see if that's going to unfold. Ha, look at gold. Gold is up 26 or so $27 at 2.567. This is going to be this is a, a new record high. This is only a leg B, and it's in a buy mode, so it should still go higher. We've been very positive that our gold stocks also doing very nicely for subscribers to my opening call. Let's go to the uh, crude oil. Crude oil right now is trading up a little bit, up 66 to 74, 32. No, no great shakes there. Ha, bonds. Our bonds are actually up 10, 30 seconds. So yields are coming down a little bit. That's important. It's not the end all and be all, but it is important. So with that said, coming up to the Tiger Technicians Hour in a few minutes. Hope to see you there and check out my opening call daily newsletter. We've had some really good uh, positions. In fact, all our positions are up uh, from the entry points and, and we both had cash positions so we could get new positions. And that's kind of working right now. Let's see if that can continue. I'll be back in a few minutes. Hope to see you there.